Hello everyone, David Giglio here with Ozid Engineering and in this video I will show you how to use ANSYS PE Expert to design a full bridge converter transformer with a split secondary as, as shown here in this schematic. So to get started you open a PE Expert session, go to file and in this case I'm start, I want to show how to start a new project so click new and we could choose from the four different magnetic component types either inductor, transformer, couple of inductors or flyback type and in this case I'm choosing transformer converter based full bridge okay so there you have to choose for all the magnetic component types you choose either converter based or waveform based okay so I choose full bridge and then this window appears and there are three tabs to configure or settings settings in these three tabs we need to configure and the first one is the waveforms tab and we need to configure the inputs um, values and output values okay so input voltage switch in frequency we could choose either duty cycle or turns ratio and for the output voltage power and current ripple and then in design inputs we have various settings to configure I left most of it default values I only changed from winding setup 2d so I changed it to 1d partially full Right, you could leave it however you could change it or leave it however you want. And we have here minimum primary winding magnetizing inductance. So when we run the the program to consider all the design possibilities and to, and to show us the design, the best, the, the top ten best designs with the lowest losses, it may show results that meet criteria, all the criteria, except this minimum primary winding magnetizing inductance, and it will give you a warning sign, that, right? A triangle with an exclamation mark. So if you see that, that's what it means, okay? And then we need to configure the modeling options, um, modeling, uh, modeling options settings, which um, include winding losses calculation, where I, I set it to harmonics and AC resistance. And then we need to choose for the core losses calculation, um, by default, it was Steinmetz. I changed it to Steinmetz modified, which is used when when you when you are using a non sinusoidal excitation. So if it's square wave or triangle wave, in our case, square wave. So I, I'm I'm choosing Steinmetz modified. All right, and the results after we run the, the the program, the results will display the top ten best designs based on lowest losses, okay? That the, the lowest losses is the criteria to rank and compare the, the top 10 best designs. You could change that, cri that criteria or classification by clicking where it says list of results, select solutions, and then see here by, by default is minimum losses, but you could choose another classification, minimum temperature, minimum volume, minimum height, minimum footprint, et cetera. And here we could choose the, by default, the, the, it shows the top 10 best designs, but we could choose a lower number or a higher number. You want to see the top five designs or the top 20 designs, whatever. This is where you make that choice, okay? And then in the library section, we have various manufacturers to choose from to, to use in our design. And I, for this example, I've chosen Ferrix Cube. Just take the Ferrix Cube folder, drag it to the Ferrix Cube design under the design library, and then no, excuse me, take the folder, drag it to where it says design library, and then the Ferris Cube design will be, will be available for your project, okay? So let's start from the four tabs to, for, um, to choose uh, the, op, the, the core, the bobbin, wires, and material in the design. So you can make the, the selections for the program to consider the possible designs, or you could let the program choose and consider every possibility among all the different variations and it'll take a longer time, you know, but still quick, relatively fast. But I'm just saying that it'll just take you know, a little longer if you want to consider every single possibility. But if you make a few choices yourself, then that would, that would reduce the number of variations, right? So, but in this case, I just want to select rotating machine. I want to, I want to consider all the variations using this core type, okay? So I select all, then it's going to consider all the variations of every type of RM core type available okay and then I let and, and then I choose let's wire right click and select all again so I'm, I'm choosing the core type and wire type and I'm, I'm gonna let the program choose the bobbin and the, the material type okay and 
So I, I run start design process is considering all of the variations I have selected and whatever I have not selected is going to consider in, in the all the design possibilities, whatever is feasible. Okay, so it says here, PE expert has obtained 115 valid designs out of 4,188 analyzed designs. The, the 10 designs with the lowest losses have been shown here. Okay, so these are the top 10 best designs with the lowest losses. And then now we have three additional tabs here. Okay, so the list of results shows a summary of all the designs, right? It shows the core name or core type, the wire name, wire type, the volume, the turns of the primary, the temperature, operating temperature, or maximum temperature, magnetizing inductance, parallel turns, power losses, window filling percentage, and ID number. So the ID, the ID number, if it's not shown, you could uh, double left click any design and in the bottom choose ID number and you could choose to select to show any other um, result. okay? And then in the performance results tab, we have um, a chart showing the window filling in terms of percentage of the wire compared to the air, the winding rate percentage of air compared to the winding, and the loss, the total losses um, comparing core loss to conductor loss, right, in terms of percentage. And then <laughs> Also in the constructive results, we see a 2D cross-section of the geometry for this design. We can see the lids, the lids wire. We could click this. We can see more details about this wire. We can see the core material. We click, um, left click, which says core material. This um, dialog box appears and we can see electrical properties and then we can see we click the core loss. There's various tabs, right? So we so the core loss tab, we can see um, the frequency range to compute the core loss, right? Minimum of 25 kilohertz up to 200 kilohertz. And we can see this for the Steinmetz equation, we see the core loss coefficients used, and we can see the hysteresis curve. We can see you know, additional parameters, right? So we can see all the um, different values for this um, material. Okay. So once once we um, once we have the solution, we can click FEA link, transient, and choose either two D or three D. But let's, I, I've, for this example, I've chosen three D, and um, I, I chose or I left chosen. Open actual transient project, so it's just going to open. It's just it's just going to create the project and open it. It's not going to solve it. If you want to create it, open it and solve it, then click solve Maxwell transient project. Okay. Um, now, so I have done this, and it takes a few minutes. For my machine, it took six minutes. Okay, but in six minutes, it gives you a full, um, full bridge, power converter transformer with a split secondary already modeled, already set up for you, boundary conditions, the, the windings expectation, a, a mesh operation, okay? Everything is set up for you just to run it. So one more thing about the P-Expert design. So right here you see the secondary conductors. Well, we, we can show it here. So we select winding number two. It gives us, okay, the the wire information, okay? We can see the diameter, right? The strands, number of turns, parallel turns, okay? We can, if you if you want to modify this winding layout, like if you want to center the secondary wires, right? Or you wanna, you know, the secondary turns, you wanna center them, you wanna like change the position. You can do that with PE mag, which is another tool that works with PE Expert. So with PE Mag, you have control to modify the the geometry and the winding layout and and stuff like that, okay? But I'm not going to do that just to let you know, okay? So that is all for this video. Contact us to learn about our simulation capability and re request a demonstration for us to show you how we can help you with your engineering projects. 
Ozone Engineering Inc. is an ANSYS elite channel partner, and we provide training to use ANSYS tools, offer consulting services, and sell ANSYS software packages. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.